It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer today. We've got a beer from Lagunitas Brewing Company out there in America, and it's a can of the 12th of Never Ale coming in at 5.5% ABV. Shocked and, and, and very happy, really, to be able to find this beer in my local supermarket. I mean, craft beer now is becoming available to the masses, which is very good, but it must stay good. If this can is terrible, I will tell you all about it. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. I'm not gonna go into go into detail too much about the whole Lagunitas is now owned by the owner of Corona. Um, we all know that. A lot of the people tuning into the channel know that. The question is, with the owner of Corona paying two billion pounds, it was crazy, like two billion pound for Lagunitas. Will they waste their money? Will they? Will the investors? decide to dumb down the beer or will they produce the same quality beer but in a much bigger mass for the masses let's find out mind you it's tough because i've never had this beer before so i don't know if it's been if it if it tastes like it did five years ago, or even if they did produce this beer five years ago, the only thing we can do is work out what's in the glass. So we have a very slightly hazy, yellow, very light amber coloured ale. It's a straw coloured, slow moving carbonation, very small one finger head, and even from half half a yard away. I can smell some hops, so let's dive in. It's not bad. It's not bad at all so far. Picking up some grapefruit, some a slight bit of orange, a slight bit of mango. Promising so far. A little bit of spice, a little bit of biscuit malt. Let's dive in. Cheers. Not bad. Let's go again. I think I paid no more than two pounds for this can. Two pounds UK. Of course, we're the only people who call our money pounds, so it would be from the UK. Uh, but I, I paid about two pounds for this can. And do you know what? For your money, and you've always got to kind of gauge it with with what you get for your money, because the whole world revolves every piece of life or or most aspects of your life will revolve around money what you get for about two pound here is rather remarkable have you tasted punk ipa lately it's okay it's, it's not bad i wouldn't say it's the best ipa i've ever drank even though back in 2010 I probably would have thought otherwise I probably would have thought it was the best IPA that I'd ever had it was a fantastic beer back then um, I would prefer to drink this over a punk IPA and it's very similar in price so they, they've got something right here
there's a little bit of spice there's some orange peel there's some fleshy blood orange there's a little bit of biscuit malt a little bit of sweetness lots of bitterness on the back end and the actual liquid in the mouth is very refreshing it's juicy and refreshing and extremely drinkable for 5.5 percent abv so like you need to have done something quite quite good here i would buy it again let's rate it Looks good, smells good, tastes good. 350 can, or 355 can, 355 milliliters. I'm gonna rate that at a, a quite, I, I always rate versus price. If I bought that for 10 pounds, I would be crying. I paid two pounds. So, price paid versus flavour equals, for me, an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.